Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 27 of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I think it's a good time to swap things up a little bit. Tom's going front, Zeo Sheep next. So I believe when I took on Ein, he started with Pokemon that my team right now would be pretty good against. Laugh now, he pulls a Venus and just used like different Pokemon to start things off. But first, I'll take that HP up, even though I don't plan to use it. Okay, so now we're going to take on Ein. Good. This disc has been scrubbed of all data. That's done it. What? How did you get in without my notice? Ah, I see. You must be the much-talked-about Bonga on YouTube, of course. Little did I expect to see you here. I am Ein. I am in charge of this Shadow Pokemon Lab. No one must be allowed to interfere with our Shadow Pokemon plan. I won't allow it. Let me acquaint you with the power of my Shadow Pokemon. Oh, nice hair. Who did it? Dan Hibiki? <laughs> and, uh, where'd you get those shades? Johnny Cage? Oh, okay, I gotta stop. Of course he would use something different! Golbat and Lantern. Well, Thomas's Blizzard should still work. I believe when it comes to Lantern, whenever it's out and you use Electric-type moves, it will actually take the Electric attacks and absorb it himself. So in other words, I can't use Zeo Sheep 2 to take out the Golbat. Alright, let me do this. Let me swap out Zeo Sheep and probably bring in Abel for this. I think this team also likes to use Rain Dance. Which is very unfortunate, because remember, like I said in a previous video, Ein has Raikou. Which, of course, uses Electric-type moves. And with Rain Dance, that means Thunder was 100% accuracy. Oh, dear God, Hydro Pump. No, 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 no! <sighs> it's just not a good day to be Thomas. First you're confused, and then you're sapping the Hydro Pump. Just nothing goes your way anymore. Okay, new strategy. I'm gonna have to bring in Kane for this as well. So I never got to attack at all, which is very, very unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna bite Lantern. I'm gonna have Abel Psybeam the Golbat. I might be able to take it out in one shot. Remember, Golbat is part poison. Good. That's one less Pokemon to deal with. And Zero Sheep 2 goes to level 40. Awesome. Ah, Altaria. That's what I wanted Thomas out in front for. Because it's flying and dragon, therefore extra susceptible to ice. This might be a good time to bring him back. Okay, good. It flinched. Okay, I'm gonna have you... We should probably focus on... I'm gonna go with a Confuse Ray on Lantern and Psybeam Altaria. So if I keep using Confuse Ray, it'll make my life a little bit easier. Unfortunately, Altaria has a pretty good special defense. And a nose fly. Great, that's just what I needed. Good! Alright, that's gonna be a decent turn. I'm still worried about Fly doing a nice big number on us. Can you use Confuser and Altaria because it's going to come down before you attack. And I'll Psybeam Lantern. Then again, Reflect might also be a good idea, but you know what? I'm going to go all offense. Crit, 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 crit. <sighs> wow, that Psybeam didn't even do that much. Very disappointing. Of course, they would target Able because it has lower defense. As long as I keep this up, I should be alright. But I mean, that's a high-level team that he's got. Like, in the high 40s? I'm not even close to that. I'm practically in the low 40s. Well, except for Abel, that's a 43, but still. That's still a nice big number to overcome. No, there's no sense in having Kane attack Altaria if it's gonna fly again. I should do it like... this? Just to soften it up a bit more. 
I think other than Raikou, the next Pokemon that Ayn has is, uh, Huntail? That's one of the evolved forms of Clamperl. Come on, flinch, flinch. Ooh, crit even better! Okay, so I say Huntail's coming out next. Bring it on! Hopefully I can take it up before it uses Rain Dance, otherwise Raikou is going to be near impossible to battle! Okay, we should do it like this. Should definitely put high priority on that Huntail now. Come on, crit, 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 crit! Okay, close enough. That's good for a first blow. Hit yourself, hit yourself. Oh, that made my life a lot easier. And now let's bring on the Raikou, which is probably the hardest legendary dog to catch. Trust me, when I practiced this, I was unable to do it. It used Shadow Rush to faint itself. All these Ultra Balls, and then eventually Timer Balls, none of them got the job done. Come on, flinch, 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 flinch. Oh, shit. Now it's going to get real. Okay. I have an idea. And I'm pretty much going to have to do it like this. So what I should do is I'm going to have... Hmm, Huntail might have Swift Swim. So I'm going to swap out Kane to bring in Scorch. Now I know what you're thinking. This is crazy because Scorch is weak against water. However, it also has Sunny Day, so I can use that to get rid of the rain. I'm gonna have to do it like that. That's my only course of action. Otherwise, Raikou is just gonna Thunder Spam me. Oh, okay, so Huntail does have Swift Swim and those Confuse Ray. Oh god, this can throw a big wrench in my plans. Yes! I was getting a little worried because that delay just made my heart sink a little bit. Okay, Huntail is down. I'm gonna have to brace for the eventual thunder. Because I know it's coming. Yeah, there's no way Raikou would pass up this opportunity. Oh god. Please, Scorch, you gotta be a little bit fast. Okay, start things off with Sunny Day. And then I'm gonna have you use Psybeam. Alright, you're still confused. Oh good, it still worked. I don't want to get a crit though. Okay, good, I didn't. Even if I confuse it, it might be okay. Oh god. Well, so much for that plan. I was hoping to be able to get one off. Alright, so I'm gonna have Zeo Sheep 2 use Thunder Wave to paralyze it. That'll give me a much better chance. But of course, the rain is still going. Alright, Thunder Wave. And then you use Return. You gotta snap out of that confusion eventually, man. Oh, thank God, three turns, and I never once hit myself. Ooh, yellow. That's nearing the danger zone. Yeah, your thunder is getting on my nerves, Raiko. So, for that, I'm going to paralyze you. The rain is still going. So, I think so much for that sunny day strategy. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to catch it right now. Now, this will probably take a lot more Ultra Balls than it did for Entei. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, I gotta grasp at straws, and I think this is the good time to do it. I'm just gonna use one Swift. It shouldn't do a ton of damage to it. Oh! I was thinking, is this actually going to happen? <sighs> Sadly, it did not. Okay, I think this is the most damage I want to do to it. So I'm still worried about those Shadow Rushes. I'm hoping I never get to see them. All 
Alright, Kane, it's up to you. I was thinking Grotus, but oh well. Okay, the rain stops, so Thunder doesn't have 100% accuracy anymore. Good. Okay, I got lucky with this Ultra Ball. I might get even luckier. I don't want Kane to do any attacks, though. Not even confusion. So I'm just gonna use that turn to call? I could have used this turn to revive as well, but either way. I'm just grasping at straws and hoping for a miracle. Oh no. Don't tell me we're gonna get back on that routine where you're not even gonna be able to get a shake. Okay, good, it missed. Now I just gotta keep this up. Put the pressure on! Not even stop. Actually, I'll go back to my items and use this turn to heal. Actually, better yet, I should just use revives because everyone else is at full health. Scorch might also be a good idea just for the sake of, you know, using smoke screen. I don't know if Shadow Rush has perfect accuracy no matter what. If it does, and so much for Smokescreen being that effective. Okay, that one still hit. Unfortunate. But we're okay. No, not revives. See you, Sheep. This is your turn for the Ultra Balls. Consarn it. Okay, come on. Catch it! Save me some grief! Catch it! You're mine, Raikou! Excuse me? You were so comfortable the first time! I threw the first ball, you were that close, and now all of a sudden you're just 100% resistant. Come on now. Yeah, you're better than this. You're a legendary. Show some pride! Just let me control you! I just want total dominion all over your entire nether bodies. Ah, no, no, no. I mean, the entire part of you. Come on. Catch it. I just don't want it to shadow rush itself to feigning. Like happened in my practice run. Oh my god, are you serious? If it can't move, why did it resist? I call shenanigans. Seriously. If on a turn, it's unable to attack, I should have a higher catch rate. That's something for you to think about in Gen 6, guys. Come on, catch it. Catch it. Catch it. <sighs> no, you, you're just not going to try, aren't you, Raiko? You're just not going to try to be understanding. <sighs> 69. That number always seems to pop up. I'm going to keep up this pressure. It's all I can do. I'm good with trying to catch him in yellow health. Because I'm too worried that if it gets to red, it's going to start shadow rushing itself. To downright oblivion. That's all I can do, man. That's all I can do. Come on. Come on. <sighs> uh, a little bit closer. But then again, the past balls don't matter. It's only the current ones. Remember that. So if I was close the first time, I'm not going to get any closer the second time. The numbers don't lie. They're an absolute bitch goddess, though. Here, drink some lemonade. Sweet lemonade. Sweet, sweet lemonade. Which, ironically, is super sour. Oh, come on. You, you gotta do this for me. Ante was a pain in the ass. Sweet Coon was a breeze. And Raiko, oh my god. You are just stubborn. And you're almost gone through your 10 thunders already. I haven't even counted how many he've used so far. 
What other moves does he have other than Shadow Rush and Thunder? Might have Leer, but I doubt he's gonna use it. I don't know if he has Rain Dance. Oh, I hate you so much. Oh, I'm going to have to think of a 10 character curse word for this guy. Because I'm planning to name him something pretty vulgar at this rate. He's breaking my heart here. This just gotta stop. Just give up. Let me catch you. At least I can respond to some text messages. Oh, damn it. Because at least these uh, dialogue is just going on its own speed. I don't have to... Oh, God. Here comes the Shadow Rush. Now I'm worried. It's doing damage to itself, but it might do too much damage. Now it's a race against the clock. That's the thing I hate. Because you might fail, even though you did everything right. That's just the ultimate troll move. I mean, I know sleep is the best status ailment to inflict on it, but my team currently is not equipped with it. Really? Uh, you are much easier to catch in yellow health than you are in red? There's something wrong with this picture. Oh, no. Not another Shadow Rush. I'd really hate to redo this entire battle just to try to catch him again. Which I plan to do. I mean, I know there are other chances to catch a Raikou, but I don't want to wait. I want to get it done as soon as possible. I don't know if you can actually use two Ultra Balls in the same turn. Okay, I can't. That sucks. That would have made things so much easier. If I can use two balls in one turn. Oh my god, really? This is gonna be a big piss off. Like, I'll probably just do the entire battle off camera, except for bringing Raikou all by itself. And then I'll just meet you back here. It didn't faint, did it? Okay, it didn't! There's still a chance! A faint chance but a chance nonetheless. If I catch Raikou on this little health, I'm gonna be shocked. No pun intended. So come on, just give me some good luck for a change. I practically crossed my testicles for crying out loud. And now I fully regret it. I think that was the problem. Yep, so Raiko just fainted itself, but I tried! I literally tried! So, it fainted itself! That means I'm gonna have to go through this entire battle again! And I don't want to, but I must if I want to catch Raiko! So, you know what, I'm going to reset the game, but I'm gonna meet you back here when I got Raiko all to my lonesome. Be right back, everybody. Okay, I decided to meet you back here when I resetted the battle just to do all over again. Only with the Raikou remaining, still at green health, and paralyzed. I'm gonna use Scorch to try and paralyze the uh, Raikou, I mean, to lower the accuracy as much as possible. And in case you're wondering why it seems I used Smokescreen four times, I only used it twice because Raikou, like the other legendary dogs, has pressure. I never reiterated that, but it allows you, it forces the opponent to use two PP per move instead of one. So as long as I keep lowering that accuracy, I won't have to worry about Thunder so much. Let me lower it again, just in case. I don't think Shadow Rush is impervious to accuracy drops. So I might be able to avoid a few Shadow Rushes, therefore the Raikou will avoid hurting itself easier. I think that's true, I'm not 100% sure. You can always just let me know in the comments, if you're 100% sure yourself. I mean, I might as well just go all out with trying to catch it as soon as possible. 
I decided to use that turn without the swap, therefore I can just use accuracy, I mean, use smokescreen again. Thunder already has a low accuracy rate of like 70, so I should be alright there. It'll be like less than half, so to speak. I think I should use this turn for Reflect, just in case. Even though I don't think it'll last the whole time. So, I mean, I definitely gotta be able to catch Raikou this time. It has to work. Oh my god, stop doing that! My beating heart can't handle it! It's just stress! Every time you get to that third shake, it should be caught. No questions asked. Like, don't have it shake three times. Oh, you never caught it. That's just a heartbreaker. That's depressing. To have to see that. I think I should use this turn just to heal up a little bit more. Just in case. I decided to use two of my rare candies. One on Zeo Sheep 2 and the other on Scorch. You know, just to save some room, therefore I don't really think about my rare candies all that much. I only just wanted them to, like, catch up because they were the lowest leveled in my party, I believe. Well, Kane was too, but I use the Sheep too and Scorch a bit more. They'll be more suitable for this fight than Kane ever will. Even though before we got to Raikou, he was good for Confuse Ray. That's pretty much the only thing. don't want to start using damage attacks on it now, because I'm worried about the Shadow Rush still. Oh my god, why? Why are you so stubborn? I'm really hoping that I don't have to redo this battle, like, several times just to catch this one Pokemon. That would be so ridiculous. I mean, I definitely... I don't know if I plan to use Raikou, but I definitely plan to use one of my Time Flutes on it. I mean, it's the last Legendary to catch, and I mean, I might as well just use one of my two Time Flutes. I believe there are three total in the game. One you don't get until much, much later. So I figured, why not just use that first Time Flute on Raikou, because I already got Entei on its second move, well, just Leer. Nothing too spectacular. Wow, you actually still managed to hit. And you got the paralysis. You are the luckiest MF for alive, Raikou. Not to mention, you're just so irritating to catch. Oy. Yeah, I'll use Eliminate. Just to keep Scorch alive. I can do this all day, you know. I don't care if this video stretches to like two hours. Two hours of me catching the same Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh, you apparently you know Quick Attack as well. I thought you were like a two trick pony. Apparently not. That's actually very good. At least now I have to worry about Quick Attack. And it's not that damaging of a move. That means he'll go through other attacks before Shadow Rush. If I keep this up, I mean... It'll be a matter of time before my Timer Balls pretty much become glorified Master Balls. Well, actually, that's impossible. Because after 30 turns, then they stop growing as strong. And they don't really have that Super Catch Rate compared to a Master Ball, which is 100%. But wishful thinking, I guess. Which, sadly, I... that's all I can rely on. Be thankful I don't have, like, Catch Raikou drinking game. Every time I fail, take a drink, get to three shakes, and then it breaks out, finish your drink. There actually is a Jesus Christ, after all. And he was watching me. This power, it defies belief. How do you think I feel? Your Raikou was a pain in the ass to catch! Huh. Your struggle to get here was all in vain. 
The shadow Pokemon we produced have already been moved elsewhere. And that, of course, includes the ultimate shadow Pokemon I created for the boss. <laughs> ultimate shadow Pokemon? Okay, what's this? A data ROM? Uh, did he scrub it dry or clean? Oh, there's a TM26. That's double team, I believe. Or is that Earthquake? TM20. Oh, that is Earthquake! I love Earthquake! But TMs to me until Gen 5 fall under the too good to use syndrome. But the, And that scares me because I really enjoy Earthquake. Oh, there, we unlocked the door from the other side. So I guess we're done with Shadow Pokemon Lab. What do I do with this data ROM then? Do I take it over to someone who can decipher it? Maybe the uh those kids over in the under? Might not be a bad idea. What's this? You got Merle. Oh it is Net. Hi, this is Net. If you find any data at the Shadow Pokemon Lab, please bring it to me in the under. I'll be waiting. You send me the email just as soon as I get a data ROM. How convenient. Is Ned watching me? Which is weird. But anyways, I'm gonna stop the video right here in the next part. I'll meet you back at the Hunter so we can, like, you know, just get this data deciphered. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.